Good afternoon everyone, this is Chrissy and welcome to my channel. Thank you for joining me. Today's uh, share is my April progress on my K3N um, cloth tails st stitchery with uh, Catherine. And before I get into showing you, I just want to thank Catherine again for all she does for us um, taking us through this project it's a very interesting um, project and if you're not familiar with it I'll uh, link it below and you can uh, go to Catherine's channel and check it out she puts a video up for us every Monday where she where we um, do a stitch along and um, my week's if it's uh, in this journal here um, for April I um, jump all over my book I don't go through it systematically so uh, I have to put little <laughs> notes in to tell me which page to go to to show you uh, there was five weeks in April and this was the first uh, week and the prompt here was um, layers where we were stitching through layers of, of fabric and also um, I think it was because the eclipse was um, around that time the lunar eclipse um, that was um, also the subject of this week's um, prompt and here I've stitched through several layers of fabric and um, this was my attempt for uh, for the prompts and this is uh, this is my river here <laughs> and um, he actually howls <laughs> like a wolf when a siren goes past and um, he raises his head like this and he lets loose <laughs> and I'm not sure really why I haven't figured that one out yet but I think he may be letting the rest of the pack know that um, you know rounding up the pack I'm not quite sure but he does and so I've got a little poem here that I've written under that to <laughs> just to um, go along with that so week two here was this was week two and this was about the eclipse and although we didn't see the eclipse here um, I struggled a bit with this one I didn't really know so what I ended up doing was just writing out the um, dictionary definition of it, an eclipse so I was quite happy with that and then I've put a little moon up here on this one so that was a solar eclipse that's what I did for that so that was week one and week two of April covered week three was what week three was planet earth that's right and um, for this one um, I think the prompt was sort of to cover um, earth and sea and so in Australia we have a lot of red earth so I tried to um, pull out my um, fabrics that perhaps showed our red earth here and um, that's why I've got those colors and this was my C uh, this was how I oh so I've left a pin in there I think uh oh here we go <laughs> an applique pin <laughs> applique pin um, yes yeah, so these were 
to denote waves and uh, the ocean, the different colours of the ocean and the white tops. So that's how I rusty colours depicting Australia's red earth for that one. Uh, so that was week three. Week four, where did I have my week four there? Oh, this was a very interesting one. Um, backstory. This was an exercise in enjoying the stitching process and then turning it to show the story. The back shows the story of how the front came about. So, yes, um, we were to stitch a piece, which I did here quite enjoyed stitching that too and I managed to practice a little bit of my um, thread painting which I love but I'm not overly good at so I practiced a little bit with that on here and stitched that but uh, when it came to stitching in, in our book Catherine turned her piece over and um, we were all surprised that the back was the piece that we were actually featuring. So um, that was interesting. I like that. So I quite eat, quite like how the back looks and uh, telling the story of how the front piece came about. So yes, interesting um, take on that one with a little twist at the end and then the last week was this one I know I've only just finished this um, this is um, pockets and this is about um, how the women in the earlier centuries didn't have pockets stitched into their clothing and that, so they would make pockets that they would wear either under their clothing or I'm not sure if they wore them on top or not but um, yes this was to keep their um, treasures in and this was also um, to celebrate visible mending and uh, how um, women often did the mending but um, here we're celebrating it being visible instead of invisible so uh, I've got my little bit of darning here and oh, you're, you're quite far away actually I hope you've managed to see all that but anyway I'll bring that in so you can see it I've done a little bit of uh, mending here and I enjoyed making this little pocket. If you go to Catherine's channel, she shows uh, that she'd made a, a big version of this uh, that she will actually, I think she's going to actually wear it. And um, these were just a little mini version that we made to um, to um, celebrate the darning, the visible mending and um, a mini version of those pockets that the ladies from the early centuries, the 16th and 17th I think, around about that era, 16th, 17th. Um, I'm not too sure actually but they actually wore these I think under their clothing so that was my attempt at that so that's um, April's work for um, for this month and uh, we'll be starting a new month next Monday so uh, thank you again Catherine and uh, I like a lot of, I mean, many, many people are enjoying this project. So 
thank you and uh, I look forward to seeing you back here in May to show you my May's efforts bye now